I'm Noelle for Petiti Garden Centers and we're here on a beautiful May day and we're going to add some color to these pots so can, we really can get a nice show at this front doorway. Um, for container gardening, it's very simple. You want to pick your container, make sure your container does have drainage holes in the bottom. And whenever you have a larger container, um, don't fill it all up with soil. Go ahead and use, um, you can use the pots off of your plant material, turn them upside down put them in the bottom of that planter so it takes up some of that soil space but still gives you good drainage air space so it's going to be a little bit easier to move and get to that spot where you really want to put it uh, the next thing that you do um, I put three pots down in the bottom of this container to give it that air space next thing you want to do is add your planting mix or your potting soil uh, Petiti planting mix is a, it has a compost element in it so it'll stay moisture a little bit longer um, and that'll work very well in your container gardens. You can also use potting soil. That's not a problem. Um, it's a little bit lighter and so you have to water a little bit more often when you use potting soil, but both will work. You go ahead and fill your container up and you can do that real easily and you're going to fill probably until you get oh, maybe a couple inches from the top lip of the container. Okay, so I'm going to fill pretty high here and um, what you always want to do when you're done and we'll go over that too is just leave yourself about an inch of what we call water space so when your plants are all planted and you have about an inch to the top of the container when you water that water is gonna it's gonna ensure that that water will go down deep into the soil instead of bubbling over the sides of that container so that's something to remind yourself as well okay when we plant containers what we normally do is we pick the thriller plant first so this is your upright focal point. In this case, we are using this beautiful burgundy cordyline. Um, this is a great spiky plant, does give you a lot of interest in the container. And um, because we're putting them at a front doorway, you want to see all of the plant material in front. So I'm going to put the, the spike or the focal point, this thriller, right in the back here. Okay, um, so I'm just going to dig a little bit of a hole and go ahead and cover that up okay now the next thing that i typically do and recommend is you pick out your spiller so we have this beautiful heart-shaped um, bright green sweet potato vine these are great thrillers they can go in just about anywhere um, except deep deep shade they don't do very well in in deep shade but full sun to part no problem and I should say that this quarter line is a great plant um, just about anywhere so any Sun um, that you get or shade condition um, you can plant them anywhere so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and have this spiller so this trailer plant we call a spiller and I'm gonna just put it off to the side just kind of at an angle here Actually, and what I really should do, since I'm doing this backwards, you actually read from left to right. So looking into the camera, I got to go this way now. <laughs> so I just realized that. So the thrillers in the back, the spiller is going to kind of spill down over the sides there. Now, the next plants that you want to choose are going to be your fillers. So those are plants that have sort of a mounded habit that give you a lot of color. I always pick foliage uh, colorful plants. Oh, and I'm reaching over here to my coleus here. This is Mardi Gras coleus. And it's just got this beautiful, bright fuchsia color along with um, some of the deeper purple. So I'm going to put this in the background as a filler. And this will do very nicely and give a lot of foliage color to the container garden. The next one that I really like is the Sun Patience. So Sun Patience, you can grow in full sun to full shade. They'll do their thing, they'll bloom, they'll branch out, and they'll look gorgeous all growing season. So I picked a beautiful color of fuchsia. It really matches this coleus very well. And I think I'm gonna put it opposite the uh, coleus there. Do remember to tickle your root system, try to spread them out into the soil. That'll help those plants grow and develop and really work their roots down into the, the potting soil that you have, okay? Go. And then the last filler that I selected 
was this beautiful euphorbia. Um, this is a white euphorbia, um, and, and some people call it snow crystals, um, but it's a great filler plant because what it does is it actually will fill out in the container and branch in all directions. So this white kind of cools down the hot pinks that are in this container, and the darker colors that you see, and that'll work out very, very nicely. Last couple of steps here. So we've got our thriller, our fillers, and our spiller. Now the last couple of things, and you do want to give them space. Don't overpack your containers. Then th things won't grow very well. And you'll find out uh, sometimes one plant will kind of overtake another. They need breathing room, just like out in the garden. So do give them some spaces. And we definitely have some air spaces that we're going to fill in with soil here. So they're all tucked in. So that's uh, the second to last thing that you want to do. I'm going to use one of these pots and just kind of fill in around these plants and fill the spaces there. Okay, and I'll do that fairly quickly here. Okay, right around the coleus in the back. Kind of tuck them in. You can move them around a little bit, arrange them the, just the way that you like them. Okay, a couple more scoops of soil. Right in the front, around the sun patients as well. The last step in planting is actually making sure that you're adding your fertilizer. So in this case, we'll add some Osmocote to this planter, okay? And move it to where you want it then water, okay? So that's gonna be our next step. We'll show you the final um, doorway here uh, when we're done, but that's gonna be our last step and you'll see the end of it. Enjoy. Enjoy.